Hello everyone, what's up and welcome to the Shiny Riker channel. Now today I'm going to go through my Pendulum Magician deck profile. But before I even go through that, there's a couple things I want to say. Three things majorly. First up, I'd like to give a special shout out to Daniel, Rombar and Franz. Because they're long time subscribers. They've been subscribed to the channel for years, even when it wasn't going on with anything. Um, before I even had 10 subscribers, they were there. So I'd like to give a special thanks to them who's been subscribed to the channel and been supporting it for a very long time. And next thing, into the deck profile now. Um, first of all, my deck is not tailored to play against strictly metal that you would play against at Atawaisis. The reason being is that Jamaican metal is different. I live at Jamaica. My metal is wide. I play decks from metal to non-metal. I can play Sky Striker, Goki, Pendulum Magician, Chainburn, ABC, Mech Knight, Dinosaurs, Mermails, Lair Inferno. There's just a wide variety of decks for me to play against. So I cannot build a deck to play for one specific thing. And I play against a lot of Alta guys as well. Um, so the deck is mainly tailored to play against Jamaica Metal. It's not for any one specific deck. Not that it matters much because my deck is up to a certain standard where you can play against any deck. Now, first up, I'm going to go through the deck profile real quick. So, triple chrono, one time gazo, triple harmonizing, two black fang, two poison, you don't need more than two, triple wisdom eye, two oath, one shanky, triple dark worm, one ebony maw spaceship. I don't know why you'd like to play more than one. Uh, basically a garnet for the deck then you have triple master cerberus shout out to tossif he's the one who lent me them two jackal king triple effect villa is the only hand trap um i must say the triple effect villa they've been working for me but i see them way too often like it's not exactly a problem all the time but when i'm going first i don't really like to see it unless i'm drawing into it with electromite then we have triple call by the grave which works out really well because i don't really play a lot of hand traps meaning i can safely negate almost any hand trap except in velos which i'll still negate and it won't backlash because some people don't really read call by the grave it stuns for actually two turns so if i go first my opponent says ash and i call by the grave it if they activate ash in their following turn it will be negated as well it stuns for two turns most people forget Moving on, two Duelist Alliance, one Pen Call, one Star Pendulum Graph. Um, have to stop again here. I must say the deck has a phenomenal matchup against Sky Strikers. I've played against the deck over 30 times and I've only lost against one match against that deck. And the only reason why I lost was because that prick main deck cherries. He cherried me turn one before I even made Electromite. Moving on. Two Shrine, one Foolish, and Time Pendulum Graph as our own trap card. Now, I know we have a great matchup against Sky Striker, but I don't really like the Trickstar version. All you have to do to beat it is just summon the strongest monster and maintain dominance. You will actually win the deck easily. Just maintain dominance. Um, for the extra deck now, we have Erase Ahead, Grand Torino, Todoroki, Bakugo. Iggy Azaleo, Drizzy, because he's definitely a bottom dweller, can't top a tournament, Time Star, Dunk Rebellion, Nagato the Moral Leader, Todoroki again, we know he uses Fire and Ice, Underclock Taker, I don't really have a funny name for it, but if you take out the L out of its name, it's actually really funny, then two Electromite, one Deco Taka, and Megatron. Now, there's just one card I'd like to play, but I can't really find space for it and it's Evil Sworn Nightmare. Um, the reason why I want to play Nightmare is because it's really good against Goki specific. And there are a lot of things I can play against like mermaids or dinosaurs. And he's just really good. Just being able to book off moon something. I don't really have to worry about it right now. I can deal with it whenever I want to. So it's just really good in that regard. Now this card is still good but... It doesn't work at all against Sky Strikers. You can't even use this effect. There are a lot of decks that it just doesn't work against, like Altergeist. 
They can just normal summon, attack direct, get rid of it. They don't even need to get rid of it. So it just leaves me to take him out of the main deck. But I don't really see a space to put him back in, even though I'd like to. So I'm hoping the subscribers can give me an idea of what to do. And next thing I'd like to talk about is how the tournament settings is here for me. We have tournament at the end of every month, the last Sunday, and you have to gain points. How do you gain points? By going through your Swiss rounds, you gain your Swiss round points permanently on a score sheet. At the end of the year, whoever has the in the top 16 players who has the most points will be entered into a tournament for free and the tournament will have box prizes as usual. So it's just really good to gain points. I have to try and enter, even if I don't like to. Especially with Magician that being hit constantly. But the deck is still good. The deck is actually fantastic. I've been playing more often and I haven't been losing. The deck is really good, even against Meta decks. Especially if you go first. Going first with this deck is phenomenal. Because you set up three negates and you set, set up negates that contracts your opponent's deck. So, example, if I'm playing against Goku, I'm first turn dweller in them. There's nothing really here for spirals, and I'm not going to show my side deck. And the reason why is that almost every single person in the country is subscribed to my channel. Mostly because it's like the only Jamaican channel. So, what it leads to is that everyone will see my side deck and plan for me. I can't afford for that to happen, especially that I've changed the side deck. So, I'm not going to show it. So, please understand. And for... I must apologize for not putting up any deck profiles. The reason why I couldn't get them last time is because the tournament started late. Everyone reached late and we started when everyone reached. No, the tournament went on till let's say 11 p.m. And I topped, right? So there was no break for me. I have to play continuously throughout. So there's no time for me to get deck profiles. And immediately as top eight is called and everyone else is cut off from ninth place go down, they leave. So what happened is that I'm just there with the top 8 players and there's, they're finished, they're not doing any deck profiles and leave so, and everyone else is left. So there's no opportunity for me to get the deck profiles as long as I keep topping. And you can't tell me don't top my tournaments. So that's how that is. So thanks for watching guys. Rate, comment, subscribe and I'm out. Have a great day.